This week's blog continues the theme from the previous two weeks about possible deception in the media, which is commonly known as spin. With the national conventions for the Republicans just completed and the Democrats just starting, media spin slash deception is in full swing. Take a look at these two headlines about Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the Democratic National Convention chairwoman, and her term of office coming to an end. One states, Wasserman Schultz to step down as DNC chairwoman amid email fallout. The other states, Debbie Wasserman Schultz to resign DNC post. The first uses the words step down and amid email fallout which refers to the emails leaked by WikiLeaks about internal conversations among the Democratic National Convention leaders. There may have been an implication to link this turn of events with the Clinton email scandal that has been the center of much attention for the past year. In fact, a previous post by this same news agency referred to Wasserman Schultz as being quarantined a quote attributed to a source in the Democratic Party. That's an interesting term to use and highlight, as it's usually used in connection with the handling of contaminated objects. The second publication interestingly refers to Washerman Schultz's resignation, which is a term that implies a more voluntary action by Wasserman Schultz to end her term of office, and provides somewhat of a buffer to the incident. The second article also spends less time describing the leaked emails and the tone is much less harsh. There are many ways to characterize lies. One type of lie is the lie of commission. This is when the liar actually fabricates information in order to mislead others. A second type of lie is the lie of omission. This is when a liar simply omits information to mislead others. The spin that we've been discussing is closer to lies of commission because spin is the use of carefully crafted words in order to produce a certain impression. As we've been seeing these past few weeks, different word choices certainly produce different impressions of the same event. Research has shown that lies of omission are more common than lies of commission. They may be more difficult to find, however, in the media because one would have to search for something that is known but not reported. When a news agency doesn't report something, it's difficult to know that they didn't report it because they didn't know about it, that is, they were just ignorant about it, or because they made the conscious choice not to report it, that is, they omitted it. But we can get a glimpse of possible omissions when one news agency reports something and another doesn't. For example, take a look at this headline about why Obama's half-brother says he'll be voting for Donald Trump. I searched for such a headline in the direct competitor of this news agency in the same city, but could not find it. Was that an omission in order to support a certain impression or ignorance?